Very good day to you, YouTube subscribers, flamencos everywhere. This is Jason Martinez, and I'm sure you're familiar now with my previous video studies where we really delved into technique. And now I want to shift this, the focus of this uh, study now that I'm returning to this channel and working on tools, primarily expressive tools. And also I want to give you little tidbits that will help connect the dots because you can be uh, in the studio for a long time, studying, working on your technique. But then you get together musicians, you get together to perform, and that's a whole nother story. So uh, hopefully now this little uh, study will give you some more context that will help you connect the dots a little bit. So today what I'm going to talk about is how you use different parts of the body to say different things. And we're going to take one simple marking step, what we call marcajes. This is por bulería, so you want to think in, we're marking basically in threes, or actually in sixes in this case. So uh, let's begin. True to form, we're going to do this in our living room. I don't even have my flamenco shoes on or workout clothes. I just want to continue to communicate to you that you don't need all of those things all the time to work on your flamenco dancing. You can just work on movement and it doesn't even have to be percussive per se. So let's get started. Let's take a simple step like uh, out and in. So this would be 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Just taking the foot out and back in. So it's one, two, three, one, two, three, if you prefer. One, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, now a couple of things to notice. If I'm marking and I have a good position here, so I'm gonna mark same side. So the same arm that's out is the same foot that's gonna step out. So I'm gonna come out one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two. One, two, three, one. Now, if I stand perfectly still and sit in my back hip, that's one expressive tool. That's like just staying put and being solid, solid into your hip and just striking a pose in a way. It's not that I'm just being static, but I'm not doing a ton of moving yet because this is maybe, maybe when the, the music is not crescendoing and it's not intense just yet, this is a good way to just sit back and mark the time without putting something over the music that doesn't make sense. You don't want to get too crazy when the music is not built yet. It's, it's subdued. So that's one way of doing it. Then maybe once the music starts to pick up a little bit, I can come here and move my hip forward into this hip. So I'm here and back here and back, here, and back, here, and back. Then maybe I want to flourish a little bit more, so I'm going to grab at the same time as the hip goes, here, and back, here, back. So now we're talking about a little bit more groove. Instead of Now instead of just holding your place and having a nice presented position, now you're starting to make the, the, the movement match the soniquete or the, the groove of the, uh, of the beats. So maybe on top of that now, maybe I don't want to do this anymore. Maybe I want to do something a little bit more uh, stylized, a little bit more large. Um, so I could come here and keep, keep this movement going, the hand and the hips together. But I want you to take a look at what happens maybe when I don't bring the arm down. What if I'm here and I'm just here and I let my hip go? So suddenly now the focus of what I'm doing is now on the hips. And maybe that's something you want to experiment with because this one simple marking step can take many forms. So when you're doing your own study, I want you to really 
concentrate on <clears throat> changing it up. Think of all the different ways you can do this one step. You can go same side for two, and then here for two if you wanted to. So you're elongating uh, the movement before some crescendo happens. So as, as simple as a step seems, there's a, a universe unto itself within that one step. So I want you to really concentrate. So it does just a practice, practice holding a good position and letting your hip rock back and forth as you sit into that supporting leg. So if I'm here, one, two, three, one, two, three, oh, I'm sorry, that's time goes. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, one. Then throw in, a, throw in the hip. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. Throw in the hand with the hip. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, five, six. One, two, three, one, two, three. Two, three. Now, try here and let just the hip go and corner your body. Don't even bring the arm down. One, two, three. One, two, three. Out here for men. One, two, three. One, two. One, two, three. One, two. One, two, three. One, two. One, two, three. One. All different, very, very different forms of expression <clears throat> using one simple marking step. We'll continue to explore these kinds of ideas and uh, get into some more of the philosophy that'll help you connect the dots in future videos. Please subscribe. Please turn on your notifications so every time I post another video, you're made aware of it and you can go right to it and get right back into your studies. This is Jason Martinez, Tucson, Arizona. Thank you very much.